Hey there Diablo 4 fans, are you looking for a build that will smash your enemies into oblivion? Then look no farther than the Hammer of the Ancients Barbarian. In this video we'll be taking a look at the leveling guide for this powerful build, including skill point allocation and playstyle. Let's start by taking a look at the skill point allocation. So if you guys don't know, at level 25 you'll actually have 24 points to allocate, plus an additional 2 points from completing Renown. So here's in the order of which you should be using these points if you are looking to try out this huge Hammer of the Ancients build. So first off, Frenzy is going to be our first point because it really is going to provide us with this idea of if Frenzy hits an enemy, attack speed is increased by 20% for 3 seconds up to 60%. That's going to provide us a lot of extra attack speed and overall a lot of extra damage. Next up, of course, Enhanced Frenzy is going to be huge. While Frenzy is granting 60% bonus attack speed, it also generates two additional fury. That's massive because we're going to need as much fury as possible when we're running this Hammer of the Ancients build. Of course, you guys know what the next one is going to be. It's going to be the Hammer of the Ancients itself. So slam your hammer down with the Fury of the Ancients, dealing 56% damage to a concentrated area. We're definitely going to want to take that. It's going to be a massive amount of damage for us. And with that, we're going to want to enhance it. So we're going to take the Enhanced Hammer of the Ancients, as well as the Furious Hammer of the Ancients. So you have Violent, you have Furious. Furious is going to be your best pick because it's going to deal an additional damage point uh, or sorry, additional 1% damage for each point of fear you had when using it. So the more fear you have before using your hammer of the ancients, the more damage you're going to do. It's really, really, really strong. So after we take that Furious Hammer of the Ancients, the next point should definitely go to Combat Frenzy. You may have thought we missed out on this, but we just wanted to make sure we got some of the big damage dealers before we took Combat Frenzy. But Combat Frenzy is going to give us an additional 8% damage reduction for each stack of Frenzy you currently have. It's a massive amount of damage reduction. It's going to be huge for melee users because we're always in the thick of it, needing as much armor and damage reduction as possible. And of course, Rallying Cry or Iron Skin for defense. This is going to be two kind of alternative options depending on which one you really want to take. But here it is, Rallying Cry is going to be the main focus for us on this build. Obviously, like I said, Iron Skin is something you can take if you want to. Uh, it's just going to be a difference in play styles of what you want. So just take a look at these both and find out which works best for you. But Rallying Cry, of course, and then we're going to take Enhanced Rallying Cry. Basically makes us unstoppable while active. And then, of course, we're going to take the Tactical Rallying Cry. If you are going to take the Iron Skin side, by the way, you want to take Iron Skin, and Enhanced Iron Skin, and then Tactical Iron Skin, which is the bottom uh, option here. So very, very cool all around. Let's take a look now at the Hammer of the Ancients. So we're about at level 10 now, and this is where we're going to actually take the second point of Hammer of the Ancients level 2. We're also going to take level 3 to continue increasing that damage. We want to make sure we're doing as much damage as possible with the Hammer of the Ancients. So with three points into it, we're going to be doing a lot more damage than with one point into it, obviously. So now we're going to go for some kind of movement. Obviously, movement is key when it comes to Diablo games, as you want to be as quick as possible. We have a lot of different options when it comes to the Barbarian, but the obvious one is going to be Leap. Leap is going to be huge for this build. We're going to take Leap, which basically slams down and does a little bit of damage and really knocks back enemies surrounding on the impact. And then we have Enhanced Leap, which we're also going to take. And of course, Power Leap. Power Leap is going to give us 40 Fury, continually giving us more Fury is huge because, like we said earlier, that powerful Hammer of the Ancients is going to be busted based on the amount of Fury you have, dealing you additional damage per point of Fury. So we're going to want as much Fury regen as possible, and that's another reason why we're taking that Power Leap. Next up, we do have Hammer of the Ancients level 4. Before we go on to more, we do want to level this up to level 4 and then level 5. So like level 15, 16, 17, this is going to be about what you're looking at depending on what amount of renown you have. Um, but this is, like I said, really, really solid for a base build of Hammer of the Ancients already. So next up, we do have Death Blow. Attempt a Killing Strike dealing 120% damage to enemies in front of you. If this kills an enemy, its cooldown is reset. So imagine how quickly you can continue to reset this if you are killing enemies. You're just going to be able to continue to spam Death Blow, and it's huge, huge damage. So let's take this. We're also going to take the Enhanced Death Blow. We want to do more damage to bosses, of course. That's going to be one of the slowest parts currently with this build is going to be killing bosses until you get the Death Blow and Enhanced Death Blow added onto it. We're also going to take the Fighter's Death Blow, which is going to give us 
20 fury when used. If it's used and damages an enemy, it's going to give us that 20 fury. So make sure you're hitting somebody with that ability. So this is going to be around level 20. We're going to want to take thick skin. Each time you take direct damage, gain 0.4% base life as fortify. We're going to take this to rank 3 which is going to be 1.1% base life as Fortify, which is huge for us as a melee. Next up, we're going to take the Defensive Stance. And Defensive Stance is going to be nice because it's going to increase the damage reduction gained while you are fortified by an additional 3%, which is really going to make sure we're taking as little of damage as possible with that Fortify. So, of course, last but not least, we do have the final skill. That's going to be the ultimate skills. We have three different skills that we can look at here. And the main one that we're going to take a look at today is going to be the Wrath of the Berserker. This is going to be huge for us, gaining Berserk and Unstoppable for five seconds for the next 10 seconds. Dealing direct damage with basic skills grants Berserking for five seconds. Huge because it's going to give us Lucky Hit Chance 40% as well. And then we're going to take Prime Wrath of the Berserker and, of course, Supreme Wrath of the Berserker. These are going to help us quite a bit with Fury Generation on Prime. Prime Wrath, and then Supreme Wrath is going to give us every 50 Fury you spend, it increases Berserker's damage bonus by 25%, which is massive. Like I said, this is all about getting as much Fury as possible and using your abilities as quickly as possible when you have a lot of Fury, using your Hammer of Ancients, and when you have a boss or you know something that you can kill in one shot and continue to get their cooldown reset death blow and i will say this build is a lot of fun to use so if you guys are looking to see more on builds in the future and diablo 4 in the future make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i will say there also is a lot of different reasons people are excited about barbarian it does look like it's going to be one of the strongest late game builds out there or one of the strongest late game classes at the very least so make sure to take a look at the barbarian and see if this build works out for you and if it does like i said definitely let me know down in the comments below now that we've used our skill points and they're all allocated for like probably level 25 to level 27 unless you have renown and uh, you can do a little higher than that. The Hammer of the Ancients Barbarian is all about generating fury quickly and then unleashing devastating blows. You'll want to use the skills like Enhanced Frenzy, Tactical Rallying Cry, Power Leap, and Fighter's Death Blow to generate fury and then use the Hammer of the Ancients to deal massive damage. If an enemy manages to survive your Hammer of the Ancients attack, use Death Blow to finish them off and recover fury. And don't forget about Wrath of the Berserker, which makes you unstoppable and generates even more burst damage. Finally, Rallying Cry is a powerful shout that not only helps you, but also buffs your party members. So bring some members along for the ride. Friends are going to help you, obviously, in Diablo 4. It's going to give you a little bit of a buff, as well as specifically the Diablo 4 Barbarian. So there's a lot of legendary item aspects as well that you guys can be looking for. I'm going to have a list here. It's just going to be some of the basic ones that really helped us build out. It's going to be Edge Master, Ancestral Force, Bull Kothos, Expectant, Might, Disobedience, Rapid, Encroaching Wrath. We have Weapon Master, Giant Strides, Devilish, Echoing Fury, Unrelenting Fury, Iron Warrior, Ghost Walker, and so many more. So if you guys want to take a look at more builds i do have a lot of other builds on this channel and we're going to continue to keep you guys up to date with diablo 4 as we continue on make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i'll see you guys all in the next one